Hey again guys, um, back again finally with another video game update, just um, really haven't been out as much with the uh, weather being what it's been like lately. Some days it'll be uh, fine, other days it'll be pouring rain, so I haven't really been getting out as much to hunt around for stuff like I would uh, like to do, but uh, we've still got a few things here. I think we've got about uh, 10 games and then some uh, accessories as well, so um, we'll just jump right into it now. So uh, first up we've got these uh, Nintendo DS uh, lights, uh, they're like the uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Um, they're like a, like a system cover. So I'll show you on the back here. So it's like uh, looks like that when it's put on your uh, DS Lite. So uh, they're a dollar each. So I thought I'd pick them up. Uh, they're officially licensed by Star Wars and Nintendo. So I thought for a dollar each, I can't really lose. Uh, they were from JB. So I'd recommend uh, going to JB if you need any of uh, DS accessories or anything like that. They seem to be cleaning a lot of that kind of stuff out. So now would be the time to probably stock up on it if you're missing any styluses or um, random DS accessories. Uh, they seem to have a lot of DS Lite stuff, so if you've got a DS Lite I'd definitely recommend uh, going in there and checking out what they have. Um, next up we've got this uh, Wii Motion Plus. So this is uh, an accidental from that uh, video store that's near me, that I love. <laughs> seem to be selling everything. Um, so yeah, just picked that up because I wanted a Wii Motion Plus finally. So finally got that. Halo 2 limited edition in this uh, steelbook gym. So that's the uh, game and the uh, making of the DVD. So happy about that again. Um, I'll probably be uh, switching this out with my current copy. So and got a lot of uh, Wii and 360 in this update actually. Um, one from the flea market, um, Death Junior 2, uh, it was five dollars, uh, it was complete and a game I hadn't played before so I'm going to pick it up, it's got some uh, neat artwork on the inside of the case as well, so I picked that one up, then I went to a uh, pawn shop that usually has ridiculous prices like uh, 60 and 70 dollars on some of their Super Nintendo games and crazy stuff like that, they actually had um, these surprisingly cheap, they had um, Game Boy and uh, Game Boy Advance games for five dollars each, so that's ridiculously cheap from this place. So uh, Lock and Chase, which is a uh, kind of a Pac-Man, Pac-Man clone kind of game by uh, Data East. Uh, I've got a Japanese Zoids um, shoot 'em up game. So uh, the text is all in Japanese on this one, so I can't really read <laughs> what I'm saying, but. There isn't too much text from uh, how far I've gotten so far. It's mainly just uh, being in your zoid and shooting, shooting stuff. So <laughs> not too much text so far. Um, another shooter, Viridian 3D, for Game Boy Advance, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh World Championships 2007. I don't know if you can read it there. It's pretty small writing, but um. Yeah, I love these um, Yu-Gi-Oh card games. I actually quit uh, collecting the cards a long time ago, but I still love um, playing the games. So I need to pick those up when I see them cheap and I don't have them already. Um, next I've got a, a big box PC game. Don't pick up too many of these nowadays, just because they take up so much room and uh, it can be a bit annoying to get working on more modern kind of systems. So uh, I just picked this one up because it has a it's a horror game and it's uh, got these full motion video kind of cheesy cutscenes. I don't know if you can see the guy's face here. <laughs> so, look like it would be some good fun to play that one. Um, uh, big W is having a big clearance a um, couple, couple weeks ago now and uh, had hold a load of these, like uh, I think that was like 20 copies at my local store for five bucks, so I grabbed one of course, um, Geometry Wars Galaxy, so it's kind of like um, vector kind of graphics, graphic style, um, just pretty much shooting for, shooting for a score, 
So it's a lot of fun. It's uh, I believe it's just the uh, 360 version, uh, like cut down to fit onto a DS. I think so. It's, it's pretty fun from what I've played with so far. Uh, next up, I have Wii and 360 titles. So um, this was um, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. This was uh, nine dollars from a different video store. Um, Oh, sorry, it's still in my Wii. Um, it is an X rental. They, this case, the ca original case was actually, I don't know, someone had taken a pair of scissors to it or something and tried to cut one of the bottom corners or something, but I had switched out the case, so that's perfect for me now. Been playing fine. I was a bit worried at first that it might not play, but um, they gave me a good uh, warranty on it anyway, so if it stopped working or whatever. So I was happy to pick that up for $9, finally. <laughs> um, Next one I got from uh, the video shop I love, the video easy near me. Um, Trauma Center Second op Second Opinion, sorry. Uh, it's an Atlas game for the Wii. Uh, it's ten dollars and this one is actually uh, brand new. It's not a not a rental, so I was kinda surprised someone didn't actually beat me to this, but happy to pick it up. Um, still need to pick up the first one before I wanna jump into this one, so gonna have to wait with that one. Um, Next one I picked up for 15 on a gift card at EB, um, Dragon Quest Swords. So this is kind of like a different um, take on the Dragon Quest series, where you're actually uh, using the Wiimote to attack, I believe, and that kind of thing. So it looked just like it'd be a kind of different, uh, different entry into the Dragon Quest series. So I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go for 15. Uh, it is in pretty decent condition. Yeah, so it was in pretty decent condition and only 15 bucks, so I thought I'd pick that one up. Uh, the next games I got at that Big W clearance, they're having um, a clearance on a lot of 360 titles and a few certain uh, DS titles, so I picked up the following. Uh, these are all $10 each, brand new sealed. Um, Williams Pinball, Classics. Um, just pretty much so I can play pinball without having to find a machine because finding a machine can be a bit uh, <laughs> a bit difficult nowadays so it's good to have a, quite a lot of tables here so pinball <laughs> Star Wars Force Unleashed yeah. Star Wars Force Unleashed 2 uh, just thought I'd give this one a go for ten dollars uh, I hadn't really heard too much about it I it's fun <laughs> even though you can pretty much uh, can spam the lightning quite a lot <laughs> through the game, but uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. And the last one that I still kept sealed, um, Gears of War 2. I never really got into the Gears of War series, um, so I thought uh, now is probably the time when I can pick them up. Uh, pretty cheap, so uh, as you can see, I paid $10 for this one as well, so I just thought I'd uh, try to get into the series, maybe play it when I have a friend over and co-op it or something, so yeah that's all really, um, just haven't been, uh, even when I have been out I really haven't been seeing too much, um, but I guess that's how it goes sometimes, you're not going to come up, you're not going to come up with anything all the time, so, and I wouldn't just take something that I already have and be like, oh yeah I found this today for two dollars or something like that, I wouldn't do it, I would never do that, so. That's why I just try to keep it real, <laughs> keep it real, keep it, uh, keep it with what I do pick up. I'm not gonna go in here with a, uh, like I'm not gonna go buy, like a bound or something from the US and have it here and go, oh yeah, I found this in markets for two bucks. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do what I'm actually finding, even if it's uh, not too much. It might just uh, be spaced out a bit more. I know this one's probably a month <laughs> past. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll have a bit more luck and be able to show you some more good videos. If I find some good holes, I might do a, maybe a more midweek video if I find a good hole, but I'm just probably going to keep it to uh, uploading on a Saturday at the moment, or a Sunday, depending on how we go with time, but uh, yeah. So that's all from this video, sorry I'm about the rambling on, <laughs> just trying to let you guys know what's going on, but um, yeah. Well, just feel free to like, comment, uh, subscribe, 
uh, uh, leave a video response with your pickups. Uh, don't mind if you do that. <laughs> as long as you're not uh, showing me out too bad, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. All right, I'll see you guys again next time.